What's up guys, Pixels to Life here, and today I am bringing you a preview video of Twitch TV's new design beta. They have opened it up to the public um, for you to start messing around with your designs. Now, this is the current design. Um, I am showcasing one of my clients, some um, real good guy, the Gamers Port. I will link his channel in the description. But um, you see, um, nice... Uh, large area for the content also equally large area for the background um, and nice ability to add effects um, a little flash info section for here also clickable social media links um, really nice design I didn't like it whenever they first released it there was some issues with it um, and they really seemed to iron them out but um, just as soon as they got them ironed out they were ready to roll out a new design so let's check it out Okay, so um, quite a bit different. We have a much, much larger video feed here. You can tell um, the chat takes up the entire right side of the page. In fact, the scroll bar is completely gone. Um, and the chat takes up the entire right side of the page. And then you've got some kind of info panel over here with some suggested channels or something over here um, alright so immediately I noticed the banner is gone the background obviously doesn't fit because of the size change and um, and it's also grayed out now I think that's part of their beta last time they rolled out one of these um, new designs they had this little gray overlay thing and they ended up fixing it so hopefully they will fix that in the near future now looks like we have some room to mess around with here up top um, not too bad it can be fixed now let's see what is this I got two little arrows here Oh, what the This completely changes everything. Two things right off the bat that I can tell you right now. One, no capability to add a banner whatsoever. There's no way that you can create a banner that will be dynamic enough to work with this design expanding in this way there's no way Two, background design has to be a pattern a repeating pattern a flawless repeating pattern because with this uh, ability to take up basically the entire portion of the screen 90 percent of the screen here there's no way you're gonna get a background that's gonna look good and to, to be perfectly honest you only have about five to ten pixels of play on the edges here maybe you can add something cool to the top um, but that is about it so let's bring the chat back into play don't really care about this little sidebar so that's nice that you can get rid of it um, and you know I know why they did that um, with the viewing area being oversized like this because it really is about the stream content but just like on YouTube and um, other social media networks it's nice to have something to look at that is nice to look at you know what I'm saying it's just nice to have something there that you can look at that kind of takes your eye away from you know this big gigantic stream I, I I see why they did it but I personally don't like the change now no banner no ability to create a custom background really except for a pattern let's check out the info section maybe it'll be intact nope not at all you see it um, took one of my old banner graphics that I had on the previous design and plopped it down here so let's get to the bottom of this and see what happened here's a little admin panel um, little admin panel and I can click edit here and see what I can do 
Yep, see, so change background, but no ability to add a banner at all. Um, I can tile it, which you're pretty much going to be forced to do. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and stop that. And let's look down here. Okay, we've got panel titles, images, which will automatically be scaled to 320 pixels wide. So you're restricted to that. Um, image links to, okay, so you could put like a giant image in here with the title. Um, description supports markdown. What? No HTML. So the only thing that you can do with this down here is text plain text with a title or one giant image that you can link this whole thing you can link this entire thing now supports markdown that just means um, your standard text effects like bold italic underlined you can do like a list with bullet points stuff like that um, but no HTML means no flash down there it means um, no multiple clickable links within these panels so unbelievable looks like you can add several of them um, it even gives you the option to do a chip in thing which is a donation sort of deal so looks like you can add quite a few of them here maybe endless amounts of them I'm not sure it's definitely not stopping me so we can just assume that it's gonna let you add as many as you want but guys I don't know about you but here's what I want to see changed about this design smaller viewing area for the stream ability to add a banner ability to add a custom background that doesn't have to be a repeating pattern HTML capabilities in the info section so that I can link multiple links in the info section and I can also create dy dynamic text without having to edit an image um, and then re-upload it those are the things I want to see now you may be asking yourself if they made those changes what would it look like well I'll show you exactly like the old design why change something that already works perfectly I don't understand it I don't understand the change you know I appreciate innovation but when it takes away this much customization from the user I cannot support it tell me what you guys think in the comments I will talk to you next time. Peace.